everyone and welcome back to my channel. As you can tell from the title of this video, I am going to be sharing up five tips when you are buying and selling at the same time. I don't want to keep this intro long, so hit that subscribe button and let's dive in. Tip number one is to check your current finances. And I say this first because of timing. You know, it can be extremely tricky to close on your new home and on your current home on the same day. Now, of course this happens, but the timing can be a bit tricky. So let's say that you're comfortable enough that you're able to maintain two mortgages for X amount of months, whether that's three months, five months, eight months, you know, however long that may be, or you're looking at your current finances and you're like, hey, I really do think that we need to sell the current home in order to purchase the new home. And this leads right into tip number two, and that is to create an action plan. So once you've already looked at your current finances, it's time to talk to a trusted realtor and trusted lender. They'll be able to help you create an action plan that is best fitted for you to sell your current home and buy a new one. Now, everyone's action plan is going to be different and it may shift and that's okay. The, the point is that you have taken the time to really know where you're at with your current finances and know what your options are to then move forward. Tip number three is to price it right because let's be real, if you need to sell your current home in order to buy a new one, you can't be wasting any valuable time by improperly pricing your home. You know, don't come up with just a random number that you think your home is worth or just go off of this estimate. Really work with your trusted realtor, have them do a CMA for you and understand how they pulled those different comps for you. That way you are confident in the price that you agree upon Tip number four is to make any necessary repairs. And I'm not saying that you have to completely renovate your house and replace you know, all the appliances or anything like that. But what I'm saying is if you have a leaky faucet in your bathroom or if your water heater keeps going out for some reason, fix those things before you list the home and fix it by a professional. Um, because let's be real, if you are under contract on a home that's contingent on the sale of your current home, it's going to pay off to be proactive and fix those necessary repairs because they're going to come up in the home inspection, right? So be proactive about it. That way, the sale of your home, you're helping it go as smoothly as possible. And this is kind of like tip number four B, <laughs> but go ahead and start depersonalizing and decluttering your home uh, before photos are even taking, taken and go ahead and leave them that way for showings because when potential buyers want to come into your home, you want them to envision themselves living there rather than seeing memories of yours, if that makes sense. Last but not least is tip number five, and that is to be specific about your needs for your next home. Because if you're buying and selling at the same time, it means you've already been through the home buying process, right? Now, it might have been a while and that's okay. My point is that you now have a little bit of experience under your belt and you know more about what you need for your, you know the next phase in your life and your next home. So are there things that you're gonna have to compromise on? Yes, that's just how the world works. But you know this is a, a simple example, but if you need a home with a minimum of four bedrooms because your family has grown, don't waste your valuable time on looking at homes with just three bedrooms because odds are those aren't even gonna work for you. And that's a wrap for today's video. I really hope you found it helpful. Of course, there are tons of more tips on this topic, so I will make sure to link several articles down below in the description box if you're interested in checking those out. If you have an idea for a future video that you would like to see, please let me know in the comments down below. Follow me on my other socials, Facebook and Instagram. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one. Necessary repairs. Why is that so hard to say? Specific neighborhood as as a whole. Blah, blah, blah. Close. Our questions and um. <laughs> That's not even what I was supposed to say.